today I have a birthday rental from one to four. It's five after one and no one is here. Good morning, backup dancers. We have a big day today. We have a birthday party uh, that's coming from one to four. Um, and I've hired someone to help Larry and Shane's at work and I'm going to let the animals out. Poor birthday mom. There was a car accident on Highway 278 and she can't get here. But I don't know why the birthday party's not here. So I have no idea what's going on. Um, the birthday mom has not called me since. So I'm hoping that everyone is okay. But I don't know if the whole family lives over there by 278 and the party can't get here. But this seems like a disaster and I feel so sorry for the birthday kid and the birthday family. I'm moving Queso's enclosure while I'm waiting on the birthday party. I'm racking my brain thinking, what can I do to help? You know, do I need to go get food for them? Like, what can I do to help? And I have no clue because I don't know this family. But I wish there was something that I could do to make this little boy's birthday party. Um, I can't be away from Larry too long, so the birthday party's from one to four. Y'all, I'm just panicking for this mother. What can I do? I'm going, Judy, what can you do to help? What can you do to help? Do I need to go drive to 278 and put them in my truck? <laughs> like, what do I need to do to help? This poor family. In the meantime, I'm trying to get Queso's enclosure ready for winter because Queso has to be inside or under heat during the winter. So I thought I'll take advantage of my time while no one's here and begin to work on his enclosure. But y'all keep your fingers crossed that this family's okay.
30. I've not heard from a soul. No one's pulled in the driveway. I've not heard from the mom. Uh, other than I talked to her at 1130 to tell me she was stuck in traffic and should be here about 1230, 1245. And um, there's no sign of one person. It's really hot today. I had to go change clothes because I was burning up. And I really would like to go put Queso's enclosure up, but I don't want to be, not be out here and then someone pull in the driveway wanting to know where the birthday party is. The bad thing is I hired a caregiver for Larry and I'm like, oh my gosh, we spent all this money <laughs> and the birthday party's not coming. And I think in my head, I'm thinking, surely someone wouldn't just stand me up because she messaged at 1130, says she was stuck in traffic. But again, uh, again, you would think at least because 30 people were supposed to, there were supposed to be 30 kids and 30 adults. And you would think that at least one car would have pulled in my driveway for the birthday party, considering it's, it's now like 145. So the birthday party was 45 minutes ago. And I'm thinking, Okay, I would love to go work in the farm. I would love to tell the caregiver she can leave, but I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck just sitting here. You know, sometimes, I will say this has never happened before. <laughs> it's never happened. So, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to sit here and wait. So I just saw on the Coleman Daily, which is a news, that uh, life support has been flown in to that wreck. Now, I know it's not her because she told me she was stuck in traffic from a wreck. Um, so thank goodness. Um, I did try to call the mom. She is not answering the phone. But I know that she's safe and she's not in the car accident. I do know that. But as far as the rest of the birthday party, I don't know. But um, here is what I saw on Coleman Daily where life support's being called in. So the likelihood of her coming to this party is probably slim to none. Oh, goodness. You know, that poor kid. The poor kid was looking forward to his birthday party here and they can't get here. Can you imagine? This kid's probably devastated. <sighs> well, I'm hoping I can make it up to him. Uh, maybe we can reschedule the birthday party. I'm trying to rack my brain on what I could do. But unfortunately, I don't think the birthday party will be taking place today. Um, this is a sad day for a little boy's birthday. I'm probably overthinking this, but I guess I'm just like a worried mother, you know? Because I'm like, it's now almost two o'clock, still no one's in the driveway. The mom is not answering the phone call. She hasn't returned my messages or anything. And I'm thinking in my head, surely I'm not getting screwed over. Because I know there's a car accident. But. I would just think that if the mom wasn't in the car accident, which I know she wasn't. I know she wasn't because she called and told me she was stuck in the traffic of the car accident. And she also told me she was sending me the money for the birthday party this morning. And I never got it. You know, in times like this, you, I feel a little frustrated because I hired this caregiver for $28.60 an hour to come here and watch Larry while I do this birthday party. So that makes me a little frustrated. And that someone would play me. I think I'm overthinking it. And I think I need to take a, a chill pill. Because 
I'm praying that nothing bad has happened to them. That's my biggest concern. Like, I really don't care about getting screwed over. Surely nobody would do that to somebody. But I'm so concerned about this family. And I pray that they're safe. I went ahead and put Queso's enclosure in the education center to get that up and running for the winter. It's past two o'clock and I've not heard a word. So, I don't know. I guess I'm not having a birthday party today. It's three o'clock. Guess I'm not having the birthday party. Mother won't answer the phone. Not received any phone calls. And it's time to shut this place down. Tell the caregiver she can go home. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling my head up. And just chalking it up as a lesson learned. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, let me tell y'all, I am fixing to add investigator to my resume. Let me tell you what I did. Okay, don't die. Y'all are gonna, y'all are going to laugh your head off. If you don't subscribe to my channel, you should su subscribe to my channel after listening to this story. Because I think I'm brilliant. <laughs> I really do. When Shane gets home and finds out all this, he's going to go, you did what? You did what? 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 Are you serious, Judy? He's going to laugh so hard when I tell him this story. I'm almost to the creek. And so, y'all just hold your little pants just a minute. Go grab me some popcorn because this is going to be the best story ever. Ever. I'm almost there. Go grab some popcorn. Go use the bathroom real quick. It's not a long story, but I had to come to the creek to tell y'all it. Okay, I'm almost to this creek. I need to sit down because I probably lose my breath. Y'all know how I am telling the story, right? All right. The water's not flowing much. You can tell it hasn't been raining much. Well, let's hope I don't bust my tail. Oh, okay. Let me see. Come here. Come here. Come sit next to me. Let your Aunt and Judy tell you this story, how crazy I am. All right. This is a situation. I was scared to death this family was hurt. And I reached out to them again and they're not answering the phone. So then she had paid me a $50 deposit. So I went back to the payment that she paid me on PayPal and I found it. And I was looking for like because I couldn't remember if she paid, like I was thinking, this is probably a young girl and her mom paid the deposit and t you know, mom told her she had to come up with the rest of the money. Like I had this, I was thinking this long story. So when I went there, it was her name. It wasn't like anybody else's name. It was the lady's name. Suddenly, when I looked at the address, it was Virginia. And I was like, Virginia? Well, then when I called her, I noticed it wasn't an area code that was Alabama. So then I'm thinking, oh, she just moved here from Virginia. No. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? So your investigator here went, okay, she's from Virginia. She has a Virginia phone number. So then I went to Google and I said, Sneed Farm in Virginia. And bam, a farm pulled up. And I was like, does this joker think that she is, like, did she drive up to Sneed Farm and think she had already paid a deposit for this birthday party? So then I started feeling sorry for the lady. I was like, God love her. She's done jacked up. She sent me the deposit 
and she is at another Schneed farm in Virginia at a birthday party and they're probably like no you didn't pay a deposit so I decided to look up the phone number for Schneed's farm and I called them and I said this is gonna be an odd call but my name is Judy Sneed I live in Coleman, Alabama, and I own Sneed's Farmhouse. And a lady paid a $50 deposit to me and told me she was on her way to my farm, but she was stuck in traffic from a car accident, and she never showed up. And me and myself, I'm worried to death about her, and I noticed she's from Virginia, and I was just wondering... If some random lady showed up at your farm and thought she was supposed to have a birthday party, you know this man thought I had lost my ever-living mind. And that joker said, she sure did. <laughs> and I was like, tell me. That is not the truth. So this lady brought 30 kids and 30 adults to Sneed Farm in Virginia thinking she had already paid the deposit for the birthday party. Apparently, there was a bad accident, not just in Coleman, Alabama, but in Virginia as well. So then I'm trying to call the lady go, I'll refund your deposit. It's okay. But she won't answer my phone call because she's embarrassed. I'm like, baby, don't be embarrassed. It's okay. I just am glad you're alive and safe and your family's okay. But I got to sit there and talk. I don't know. This man kept me on the phone for probably 45 minutes talking about Sneed Farm and he wanted to know who my Sneed. I'm like, they're my husband's Sneed. I'm not Sneed. I'm just married into the Sneed. But they had this huge farm. But you know what's so bad? Wait till you hear this. They don't do birthday parties. <laughs> oh my God. Bless this lady's heart. Don't you feel sorry for this kid? So, he said, I just am letting her tour my farm. They don't have animals. They have vegetables. <laughs> and stuff like that. And this poor lady is taking this whole birthday party to this vegetable farm. Do you know the kids like ripped up excited and he probably thought he was coming to my petting zoo. You know, she's probably ramped him up about we're gonna have a petting zoo for your birthday party. God love this kid. So I have her address. I have her address. And I've decided that I'm going to send her a card. I'm gonna mail her a check. I'm going to send some stickers. I'm going to send a t-shirt. And I'm going to send my book to that kid for his birthday. Because I bet this is the worst birthday party ever to go up and go, Mom, these are green beans. This is, this is, this is corn on the cob. <laughs> Why are we doing this for my birthday? I don't know how old the kid is. But I can only imagine that this is going to be a story that years, the next 5,000 years, this story is gonna to be told from this little kid. Let me tell you what my mom did. Let me tell you about when I was two year, three years old <laughs> and what my mom did for my birthday party. You know, they're all like dying laughing at her. You know, that's something I would do. <laughs> that is something I would do. I'm just so glad that the family is safe. But it's so awesome that I have her address because I'm sending that mama her money back. And I'm gonna send that kid. You know what, I might even, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I keep saying a boy, but I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. And I don't know how old the birthday kid is. So I can't really send a gift because I don't know, you know, I don't know the situation. I wish I could send him some plane tickets to get to Steve's farmhouse so he could come tour my farm. Hmm. I may have to put some thought into this.
It's the next day. So I want to end with the lady ended up texting me and she said that she has four sisters and the whole entire family have made fun of her for booking a field trip in Alabama when she's from another state. So I told her that I was going to send her son a little birthday um, package and I told her that I would send her deposit back and the funny thing is, is the reason I thought she was in that car accident that was local is because just at the same time, there was a terrible car accident where life support had to be brought in. So that's why I was freaking out because I thought she was caught in that accident where life support came in. And when I began to share with her the story, how I thought... <laughs> She was involved in life support and caught in the wreck and I was upset about her son not having a birthday party and then I thought she was scamming me and I said my mind was all over the place and then I decided to look you up and we sat and laughed and laughed so I can't wait to mail this little boy his package.